soaps often are the place for first, first teenage pregnancy, for same-sex kisses. Last year, Emmerdale had another. Yeah, they had another first. They introduced us to the first transgender character on their soap and uh, the first transgender actor who plays him. Mm. Hannah Barton's birth certificate. What have you done to her? Hey, hey, hey. Hi, am I'm living as a man now. You don't just suddenly change your gender because someone passes away. Then why did you never say anything? Some man you are. But then you're not, are you? Hannah, why don't you show us what you've got under those clothes? What are you doing now? Please, no. I got mocked. The surgery went well. You'll be pleased with the results. It's so long, like, family thought it was never going to happen more. <sighs> Look, I tell you what, if that wasn't dramatic enough, Maddie Barton's about to face even more challenges in the programme. Ash Palmasharno, who plays him, uh, is here to tell us about it because, in many ways, Ash, your real life story is, is as dramatic. <laughs> and amazing. If people don't know it, I didn't know it, um, tell us. Yeah, well, thank you very much. So, uh, I think, you know, and you got the pronunciation and the name right as well. So That's because your mother's watching yes, and I right, didn't want yeah. to discreet. What's, your, <laughs> Hello, what's your mum's name? Michelle. Michelle. Ruth knows her. Yeah, she's an absolute legend. She's um, fallen off her chair. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she will. It would have made her week that. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, for me, it's been it's been amazing. I think I think you know I I you know had some some troubles with who I was as a kid, and I was very confused about it. And of course, there was nothing in the media, and you so know. What age? Though? So you were uh, born quite, a girl. Yeah, so what age? Yeah, quite young. You um, thinking, I don't feel. I right. mean, ever since you know, all of a sudden, I'll be, the lads would be lining up to play football, and I'd want to be on that team. And you know, I couldn't. As a kid, you can't put that into words, can you? So, yeah. you know, I just got on with life and stuff. And anyway, I... But uh, did you get on life? And, and this is yeah. what amazes me about Emmerdale, and this mm. is, I think, good initiative, whoever thought yeah. of this one. So you're brought into Emmerdale to advise on this transgender yeah, yeah, yeah. story. And then someone turns to you and they says, do you know what? You ever thought of acting? Why don't you act the yeah, part? Why yeah. don't you be the part? So that's the thing, because I was trying to... Um, I was an actor, I was mm. doing bits and bobs of theatre, but you know what it's like? I was, like, collecting tickets. I was a full-time peasant at Warwick Castle. <laughs> it was getting to the point where my parents were like, maybe you need to focus on getting something else. You, so know? you were almost it's, on the point of yeah, giving, giving up, up acting. And I was busy in my time. I was volunteering for an amazing charity called All About Trans, and they work about uh, getting positive representations in the media. And uh, Emmerdale rang them up and said, we're thinking about doing a trans character. Have you got anybody that would come along? And uh, it's a free lunch, isn't it? Day out. <laughs> so I was like, count me in. So you're um, an advisor, really, yeah, to make so... sure because they, they're very. It's very important that they get it right. Exactly. So I just went down to sort of say, you know, this is how you should write the character. Just write a well-rounded person that happens mm. to be trans. Don't make it all about that. And then they said, uh, actually, you look a little bit like who we had in mind. Would you want to audition? And I was like, yeah, go on then. Amazing. Got through the rounds and. Uh, now I'm, and, now I'm and you still have pinch me moments. Yeah, all it's the been time. a year now Even you've this, been there. Yeah. So. And it's this, been yeah. a year now, it's been a, just over a year, and uh, I, I constantly have to sort of remind myself, yeah. like, you know, I can't, I can't believe how amazing it is. The, the storyline that's coming up, uh, they're calling it toxic masculinity yeah. storyline, that he's so desperate yeah, to, yeah, yeah. To, to join in and be one of the lads, it's going to get him into some trouble. So how much can you tell us about this yeah, storyline sure. and where it's going to so, lead? It's been amazing, actually, to do. So. OK, I guess Matty's going through what a lot of lads go through a little bit younger in life. He's going through it a bit later where he's got this pressure to what sort of a man is he going to be? Is he going to be a jack the lad? Is he going to try and compete with them? And he puts himself through uh, quite a lot of pressure because he wants to be liked, he wants to fit in. And he meets these friends who are proper, typical jack the lads, you know, they're disrespectful to women, they love a good beer or two, they're violent, you know, they don't talk about their emotions. And Matty tries to be like them to fit in. He thinks this is going to help very him. not like him. Exactly. He's a cheeky chap, he's a sensitive soul. So for me to play, it's been a real, yeah. real difference in character. So, uh, it's fair enough to assume that, I suppose, unlike a lot of other actors, you have a big say in this character because you have been this character. That's right. Um, I think Emmerdale have been amazing right from the world off. They said, you know, if we want to do, tell an authentic story, you know, and if there's anything that we do that you think should be, uh, you know, needs to be more authentic, let us know. And they've been really open to that. You know, I've been able to sort of advise as, as I'm going yeah. as well. And have so. you ever, we, we saw there in, in the clip, you know, that he was attacked because of his, his yeah, gender. Yeah. Have you ever experienced anything like that? that yeah, kind of violence, I mean, hatred? Yeah, I mean, I remember when I first uh, was walking home one night on my own and, uh, you know, I, I, I've 
I've had uh, sort of like lads start on me and things like that. And, you know, it's a bit of a shock to the system. Uh, to and have you ever been physically attacked? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, no, I don't necessarily know if it was the trans thing on this account, but um, with the toxic masculinity thing, I know how quickly it can escalate between lads, and that was a lesson that I had to learn really quickly. Um, what but about, I've had comments and yeah. stuff. What know. about the, the character Matty going forward? Obviously, the whole storyline is about him being transgender. Yeah, um, yeah here but do and you not, hope I... eventually it would just be... He'll just be Absolutely. Matty and he'll have storylines that don't really always yeah, need to relate to exactly. that. Exactly. That's, that's exactly what I want to take the role on, because I think, you know, we're all made the presumes of so many different things, aren't we? You know, I'm an uncle, I love a Chinese takeaway, I am an actor and I happen to be trans as well. And I think that that's what I'm hoping for Matty, that he becomes his own character and, uh, you know, he takes over the wall pack. That would be really good. <laughs> well, they um, did that with, with Hayley Cropper, didn't they? Exactly, in, in Coronation, in Coronation yeah. Street. And uh, people forgot about her label and I hope that, totally. that happens with yeah. Matty. Totally, you know? yeah. And, and, I, and I think that was such a great portrayal from Julie helsman uh, yeah. by that as, as Hayley. But now we've got the real thing. That's it. Yeah, that's it. Well, listen, it's, a it's an amazing story. Uh, you're so positive about it. You're a fantastic role model. Oh, thank you very um, much. And, we'll, and really a good actor. To sit, a very good actor. We're, and we're very glad it you is. didn't give up. Yes. You wouldn't be sitting I here know. Up. And I'm we so won't glad. to say hello to Michelle again. Yeah. Hello, Michelle. All right, bye, bye Michelle. <laughs> <laughs> lovely to meet you. Oh, it's lovely to meet you. Thank Thanks. you. Thanks very much indeed.